Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win XCOM Long War. I'm Philip. My voice is still a little bit harsh this morning, but I'm going to go ahead and record another episode because I'm having such a blast. Um, <clears throat> I like to talk about the last mission a little bit where I got swarmed by pretty much everything uh, right at the beginning and then accidentally triggered the last unswarming pod by moving forward. Um, and I lost two units and had two units wounded, I believe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was that was pretty brutal. I had one unit go down. Um, yeah. So, one critically wounded unit, two dead, and one wounded, I think. Anyway, uh, I would have liked to have retreated from that mission. Um, forgotten fear. Yep, two dead. One was a rookie, so, you know, it happens. <clears throat> uh, I would have liked to have retreated from that mission, but I got pinned down, and by the time I got away from being pinned down, I had dead units. And if you leave dead units behind, not only does it increase alien research, which was the least of my concerns, but you only have a 50% chance to collect their equipment. All that armor, those plasma carbines, alloy, platings, medikits, like all of these things can be lost permanently. And by the time I got my squad together and we like condensed and pulled back, I'd already whittled down the enemy enough that I believed I could take them. <clears throat> Unfortunately for my uh, Sergeant Vanguard, uh, the enemy took him out right as we were making our comeback. <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah, he just didn't, didn't dodge. <laughs> so, um, if I could have gotten out there with most of my units intact, I might have left a piece of armor and a carbine. But that's it. Uh, once two units were down, especially a critically wounded, wounded lieutenant, it's only a five willpower loss since I stabilized him. Um, I was certainly going to try and duke it out if at all possible. <clears throat> so that is that was the last mission. Um, it was pretty brutal. But it did work out. All right, chrysalid autopsy. All right, it talks all about zombies. Uh, available for production now is chitin plating. Um, the best pocket armor a soldier can carry. <clears throat> hmm. And let's go for the cyber disc autopsy. Oh no, I want to interrogate the Thin Man so I can start building Satellite Nexi. Man, is he creepy. And the reason I'm interrogating the Thin Man is because he is a, uh, he gives me research credits on the UFO pieces, like the alien navigation and UFO power. And navigation is what unlocks that particular 
Okay, first things first. We're totally gonna intercept this. Contact detected. <laughs> we just wanna make sure that if these two UFOs are wounded in the action. We have eyes on the bandit. Satellite assist acquiring targets. Dude, that thing was rough. Contact yeah, so we want to get a replacement here to tag UFOs if at all possible. Get it, get it, get it, get it. No, yeah. Ah, it's gone. Contact lost. That sucks. This is just a hunter, we're gonna tag it and run. Bangs out. Disengaging. Alright, I'm definitely gonna build more. How many floater corpses do I have? Thirty? I'm gonna build more of those. All right, we already tagged this. Thankfully, it didn't shoot down our satellite. Uh, I tag this. Engaging bogey. We lost the bubble. All right. Scope built. One day. Okay, it will definitely be a while before I need to excavate that. I don't see it coming. I'm gonna save my money. When I build this, I'm gonna need two satellites. I only have one. Day is it? Nineteenth. Okay. Awesome. Fifty six. Fifty six back. <clears throat> so really, it's like a hundred and forty four credits. And how long does it take? Oh yeah, I don't have enough power. Okay. No, I definitely need to research UFO power too. Um, so there's a short term and a long term dilemma I have here. In the short term, I could build a power generator here um, for 72 cash plus like a core that pack, fairly cheap, like 50 cash or credits. Um, launch another satellite before the end of this month, which seems like a good plan. Um, build a satellite uplink and <clears throat> eventually destroy this to replace it with an Illyrium generator because I'm going to need one of those and having it like central to having it with three adjacency bonuses is probably the best idea. Um, so yeah, we'll leave this up since we're we have cheap power. And this will, even though it'll take 10 days before I can build the next one, that will still give us plenty of time to finish this before the end of next month. But we will get an extra satellite in the air this month. Of 
question is, where do we want it? That's worth 50 extra. That's worth about 55, 65. 60. 80. Uh, 70. Nine is worth a lot. <clears throat> These are all low in cash. Um, what I may do is simply. I'm receiving you. Return to base for debriefing. Fill out Europe so I can keep my Air Force small because my upkeep is killing me. You see, my monthly income is 86 credits. Um, after Europe, go for this. Depending on where my research is, I'll go for the South Africa cash bonus. All in, 30% extra cash, I believe. Um, and then, or if my research is heading towards an alien base assault, I'll go saucers. for North America. Certainly have come a long way. So what I see here is I get 66, I get 60, here I get 72. So I'm going to launch in France, plus one extra si uh, scientist per month. And I think I reduced panic by one. Alright, sweet. Eight floater corpses for an assault infantry sergeant. I will take it. Thank you, Canada. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions <sighs> in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. All right. I think my barracks is pretty much, except for the poor wounded. Am I building another shiv? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let's do this. We haven't had a council mission, so I'm gonna consider taking um, my kind of unflexible slow units. <clears throat> like my operator sniper and my artillery rocketeer. I do expect a council mission, so I'm saving my marksmen in vanguard. <laughs> I will have another marksman back in the day, but two on a council mission would be really nice. I'm going to take some medic. Trader. Maybe I will take this excellent marksman because I have a younger marksman available. Gunner. <clears throat> I'm not going to take a rookie this time. is gonna be Rocketeer. And I need him to train a little bit. And 
What do we have here? Headset battery ran out of steam. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's take a. Let's look at this guy. Gal. Seventy-five aim, fifty-seven will, ten movement. I don't know really where that puts her on the scale. Okay, I'll look it up. <clears throat> As an infantry of lieutenant level, having how many perks is that? One, two, three perks. One, two, three. She should have plus 11 aim and plus 19 will. So 11 aim would put her aim solidly at 64, which is just below average, and 19 will would put her at 38, which is, I guess Johnny Lump hasn't actually modified the willpower of these soldiers because that's significantly over <clears throat> standard. So basically she has high willpower and that's it. Um, well, since we have an assault roll, we need filled, and accuracy is not their thing, we're going to make her an assault. And since I'm tired of giving all of my assaults uh, carapace armor, we make her a low profile hyper defensive shotgun assault. Alright, running gun means she's yellow. <coughs> okay. Let's begin equipping. And since I gave her low profile, I'm going to give her a skeleton suit since it adds defense, which will make her quite, quite the uh, easily placed assault. Her equipment, I'm going to give her a scope to make up for her terrible aim. Or am I? No. Her point is just to be there. Alright, this guy. This guy is cooking with fire. Low profile executioner, bullet swarm, rifle suppression, ranger. Alright, alloy plating is the. Oh, I forgot to build chitin armor. Alloy plating and scope. Name of the game. Since he doesn't have extra conditioning. Tactical sense, smoke grenade, field medic, smoke and mirrors. Alright, this guy knows how to toss some smoke grenades. Beyond that, hmm. <coughs> Sorry dude, you're pigeonholed. Bad. Give him armor. Fast armor for medics. Since... So, uh, two people are taking carapace armor. This 
guy has snapshot. We'll give him the skeleton suit to make him very maneuverable. Scopes are then blow up our dudes. And a plasma carbine. This sniper, hmm. Ninety-six aim. He does have snapshot. Uh, no, he doesn't. Headshot, squad sight, damn good ground flush. First off, skeleton suit so he can get up somewhere. Secondly. Give him a scope. And what? <coughs> a battle scanner. All right. Scout gets the defensive armor. Definitely giving him an arc thrower. And a grenade. You, sir, are getting carapace armor. Now, one extra ammo is awesome. I'm gonna give you a plating. This guy will give him a skeleton suit. Shredder rocket, of course. Scope. Scope. Only one arc thrower. Get it. All right, who's not wearing any? Ah. his armor, but it should do. Ah, yes. Try to remember everything. Okay, armor check. Everyone is shiny. Weapons check. I see no assault rifles. Alright, equipment check. Everyone has two pieces of equipment. Alright, and there's no manufactured equipment. I wish I was taking... Well, not taking two medikits is what I'm missing. Huh. Let's change your name. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make you. I think I'm gonna make you a berserker. Focusing on critical hits with the shotgun, since um, they don't depend on aim, just positioning. And she already has the positioning perks. <clears throat> Would I rather put a medikit on anybody?
Nope. All right. Lots of explosives. Well, that's true. I already have lots of explosives. So let's be safe. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Sorry I didn't talk more during the last mission while it was going on, but as you know, my, I was losing my voice. And I had to concentrate really, really hard. Uh, I may try and find a way to go back over it and record another voiceover, just to highlight uh, some of the decisions I made, because I feel like there was a lot of intense decision making. Watch your backs out there, people. Hey, this is a decent map for our operator sniper. <coughs> Note. Yeah, do you see that? Do you see what a good idea that is? Uh, obviously, we're going to move our sniper last because we might need him to take a shot. However, that's a good idea. And one of our rocketeers has a grapple too. Not the best place for him. But all right, now we don't have a scout. Oh, we do have a scout. We have one person with a running gun. Here's our marksman. Moving up to this center spot is pretty safe. Um, we're gonna wait and decide where to send our marksman. Because I'm gonna run. My good rocketeer up here. So he had concealment that whole path, thanks to his pathing. Um, that's awesome. Plus, he didn't reveal too much of this area beyond, possibly triggering obnoxious aliens. This other rocketeer, <coughs> the baby. I want. Here. Uh, I often find I have to fight aliens on this side, and I would love to just take them out with one shot and then use this cover to advance. Because this cover and this cover are not so hot. Um, yeah, it's like after this truck, it's like light cover all the way. Um, whereas this is always heavy cover even if it explodes, and there's often heavy cover left from this truck. <coughs> However, low profile people can totally work their way up here. And be perfectly happy. Just want the gunner close. There's not going to be Overwatch next turn. A low profile marksman. He can go pretty much anywhere on the board. I'm going to opt for here since I think the heaviest fighting will be on the right side. But he could easily like move and shoot his way over. Medic, he needs heavy cover. Here's some heavy cover in the back that can also help support our other unit. Lastly, there is no better place for an operator sniper than <coughs> elevated with, I'll note, this particular space. It gives me full line of sight on the right side and pretty serious line of sight on the left. 
I'm not sure how this affects my line of sight. Um, that could definitely interfere. But... Mutons. Okay. Since our Rocketeer is likely to be able to help deal with anything really nasty. Uh huh. <clears throat> like this. Um, without snapshot, Rocketeers are kind of like super shotgunners in that you can't trust where their blast is going to go. Uh, not shotguns in this game, but shotguns in uh, other games. Is uh, You can't really tell what's going on. Oh my goodness, he's just going to nuke this whole thing. Fine. This is a decent place for a brawl, and I brought some pretty good soldiers. Yeah, you like that? No. I didn't think you did. <coughs> I was being facetious. Alright. Who are our youngest ones? Alright, this guy is going to go for a kill. I'm not sure if that'll actually kill it. Excellent, okay. Because he's a baby. And this is what operator snipers do. Alright, well, that takes care of that. Okay, from the... <coughs> destruction I just caused. I think... I'm not sure. I think this thing's invincible. I can't... I mean, it just survived a rocket blast. I move my marksman up here. Oh, Jesus. Thought I still have most of my actions left. Too bad I don't have any rockets left. Oh, go away. Go away. That is gross. Okay. This guy has heat ammo. I don't have hollow targeting. But I'm definitely going to need him to take as many shots as he can. And I need him in heavy cover. I can suppress that. But I really need to hit it. I sense a grenade in my future. <coughs> All right, let's just go for suppression. smoke grenade and why not cover 
everything behind this vehicle as well. So I can move someone on the left of it. <clears throat> Believe our highest hit point guy out there in the rain, I guess. Ah, oh, and we used up all of our really damaging units. I suppose that is a tactical error on my part. I am gonna move our um, infiltrator up here. And I guess I'll try and piss this thing off. <clears throat> Since the other one, oh. I guess the scout, uh, the drones are just gonna heal it, but you know, whatever. Uh, smoke didn't quite make it there. All right, let's see how this plays out. Fortunately, all my cover I think is indestructible. Um. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's two. Fuck. Okay. It's just a grenade. Holy crap, can they throw grenades a long way. Okay, the drones do their thing, but that's all they're doing. This guy. Another grenade. This is not a soldier dying. Age or tail. Okay, so the way they spread the damage out could be worse. Let's see what our sniper can do. He has the one target. Well, 100% hit, 100% crit. This is, uh... As good as it gets. I suppose I could... I should wait till after the shredder rocket. <clears throat> Which I conveniently saved from this character. Please don't fuck it up. Alright. And maybe we can get a nice crit. Or not. I kinda need to just run this guy closer and shoot. <clears throat> Is not going to be able to get close enough for an aim bonus. We'll try for a crit on him with a plasma rifle, then a shredder grenade, uh, shredder bomb, because he loses hardened when in that state, the open state. So you can actually get decent criticals on it. So this Rocketeer that's just firing is definitely wound had taken at least a health wound or two. And of course our marksmen do what they do oh so well. And the Cybertus should finish off the drones. Alright. So, a little nasty, <clears throat> a little more painful than I'd like, but, uh, no enemies are left, so I feel okay going into this awkward position. Take some aspirin, you'll be fine. 
heal up this guy so he doesn't take extra health wounds. We'll go into Overwatch, mostly sit tight. We don't want to do what we did last round and trigger too many aliens. <laughs> Target acquired. Oh, yes. Mm, still mutons out there. Perfect. We dislike leaders and we wanted the executioner bonus. How many, was there another one? Don't actually recall. <clears throat> hmm. Does not seem to be a great place to position you. Ah. Profile tactical sense. down. X ray spotted. Hmm. All up in the bus, huh? Last rocket, but if I can blow up that car, I can. Overwatch is what we're going to use that character for. I'm thinking this is the last pod. This may be a really dumb idea. I'm betting on aliens not being able to flank over here and to hold them down with some overwatch. <coughs> Excellent position. You get the wonky line of sight. Say goodbye to our little friend. Note that the interceptors rarely get one shot kills, but it's quite common. For the operator. Roger, I got 
We just don't want people to get flanked. That's I'll settle for that this turn. Three mutons, okay. Overwatch, Overwatch. Lots of Overwatch. <clears throat> You already used your action. Uh, huh. well, <clears throat> I have a gunner. I just killed one, two, three. Count two. Can't believe this guy didn't take any damage. Uh, we have a couple of low profile units with uh, capture. Moving on up. We have tactical sense. I mean, I guess I should have moved my scout first. No matter what. I'm going to try and tempt these guys into doing stupid stuff like staying out in the open. Take that shot. I could have taken that shot with him and reloaded my scout instead. Or attempted to wound this one. So that was poor choice. <clears throat> Do have to reload sometime. Gunner over here so we can suppress some dudes. This guy's just a glorified rifleman at this point. Do your worst. Taking fire over here. Now these characters both have tactical sense and low profile. As we should have done last time, we're gonna move our scout first. Reload seems like a decent plan. <coughs> Fire power over here. He has low profile but not tactical sense. Mm. 
this guy up. He's actually in concealment against this enemy. Overwatch. We're gonna overwatch to make nervous. Overwatch again. And we'll advance our sniper up here in case anything else shows up. Next turn, I think the marksman and the gunner are gonna switch places. Yep. Infiltrator scout is a beast. Let's move up here and see if there are extra enemies that I'm going to be terrified of. No? Okay. And let's do it again. Remember the assault is run and gun, that's why I moved it first, so I could run and gun back if I felt like it. Sniper should do a good job of weakening this without killing it. Don't kill it. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of took me to a dark place, sniper. Oh, we can trim it down with the marksman at least. Something. Operation Bleeding Father, not too bad. I'm sure we have at least one wounded. But they'll live. 23 days, ouch. Sergeant, gunner, perfect. Our, oh, it's our other gunner. Oh, it's a rocketeer. <clears throat> no, our good rocketeers are all in the wounded place. And I dislike our grenades, lyrium. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We will be in Thank touch, goodness, Commander. explosives are becoming less necessary now that I have carbines. Okay, it is. Oh, I need the power generator to finish. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next episode. And uh, yeah, it does look like the aliens are stepping up their game. I'm <laughs> glad I feel mostly on top of mine. I will see you next time. <laughs>